Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Tamara. Today's video is all about crock pot recipes. I have got four delicious crock pot recipes to share with you guys today. Let's go ahead and get cooking y'all. We're gonna start out with country style pork ribs and cheesy veggies. We're gonna start with the pork first because that's what's gonna take the longest. I've got three packs of country style ribs there. I'm just gonna give those a rub down with some yellow mustard. I promise you won't taste it. It is just a really good binding agent for pork and I'm gonna be using a pork like all purpose seasoning as well. You use what your family likes. Once I get them coated in the mustard, I'm gonna give them a good seasoning on both sides with this pork barbecue rub. And then I am gonna add on a few dashes of W sauce, just kind of all over them. And then we're gonna put these directly in the crock pot with no liquid or anything. It's gonna cook down, it's gonna create its own liquid, so it's okay, I promise it's not gonna burn. We're gonna put the lid on it and cook this on low for six to eight hours. About four hours till dinner time, I'm gonna go ahead and get my veggies going. I've got a bag of carrots there, some Brussels sprouts, some broccoli. Of course, you can substitute, change out the veggies that you want. I just use what I had on hand and what my family likes. I'm gonna give them a season with some salt, pepper, garlic powder, and then we are also gonna add in some chicken bouillon powder and a little bit of water. If you have chicken broth, use chicken broth. And then I don't have any regular Velveeta, so I'm gonna add in some Velveeta cheese sauce. Same thing. Um, I just added it in and gave everything a stir, and we're just gonna cook these on low for about four hours. I got the recipe inspiration for this one from a cookbook of mine. It is Slow Cooker of the Seasons. I have used it before on my channel. It is a really good cookbook. I do have it linked to my Amazon storefront. And if I can find the recipe uh, online for this one, I will have it linked so y'all can have it. This was so good. I know it doesn't look appetizing right here, but I'm telling you, it, they were cheesy, super flavorful. The veggies were cooked perfectly, and I will definitely be making this again. Here is what the pork looks like when it is done. It is fall apart tender, super juicy and delicious. Now I have done this both ways. I have served it just out of the crock pot, put barbecue sauce on it per person. And that's actually what I did in this video. But I have done it in the past where I have put these on a sheet pan, brushed them with barbecue sauce and put them under the broiler for a couple of minutes. Both ways are really good. So that's just up to you or maybe whatever you have time for. This night I just had time to let everybody feed themselves and get their own plates. <laughs> but here is my plate. I'm telling y'all this was so good, great meal. And honestly, this reminds me of summer and I'm so ready for summer. I have had several different beef and broccoli recipes, but this one was so good, you guys. I've never tried beef and broccoli with a chuck roast and I will probably never look back. I will make sure to have the recipe linked down below. I found a recipe for you guys, that way y'all can follow this as well. I found it online, so I will make sure to have it linked. I've got a chuck roast there, and I've just added in a can of beef consomme. And then I'm gonna add in some soy sauce. I use light soy sauce just to help with the sodium. I didn't want it to be too salty. And then we're gonna add in some minced garlic and some brown sugar.
we're gonna put the lid on it and we're gonna cook this in total for about 10 hours you want if you want your chuck roast to fall apart super juicy and tender give it about 10 hours to cook lower and slower is better you're gonna have a nice juicy tender roast about two hours until eating time i went ahead and added in a bag of frozen broccoli i put the lid back on it and just let it continue cooking and it cooked that broccoli now if you don't like your broccoli as cooked down i would add it like an hour or 45 minutes um we like ours you know cooked down quite a bit and so i did do ours about two hours until eating time And here is what it looks like when it's all done. That roast just fell right apart. It was so juicy and tender. We absolutely loved this recipe. We will definitely be making it again. To go along with our beef and broccoli, I cooked up some plain white rice. I also made some semi-homemade Chinese noodles. And then I did some sweet carrots as well. This was the perfect at-home Chinese. It was like we were getting it from the buffet. Last but definitely not least is French onion burgers. If you are an OG, you know how much we love this recipe. It is absolutely delicious. And I've actually had a lot of you guys email me or comment or message me saying, I tried this recipe and it was so good. If you are new here, this is definitely a must-try recipe. I will make sure to have it linked down below for you guys. So in the bottom of my crock pot, I've got a little bit of French onion soup. It's I like to use the Campbell's. I prefer the Campbell's, um, but that's just up to you. I've got a little bit of that in there just so the hamburgers aren't sitting directly in the bottom of the crock pot. And then I'm just going to add in my hamburger patties. I do about six of them and I sear them on the stove for a couple minutes. That's going to lock in the flavor. Make sure you season your patties. That's gonna lock in that flavor on the patties and it's also gonna render off some of that fat, unwanted fat in your crock pot you don't wanna have to deal with. So I sear them off for a couple minutes on each side and then we're gonna get them added into the crock pot. Once I get the patties added in, we are going to add the rest of our French onion soup right on top of the burgers and then we are gonna to top that with our onion. I just slice up the onion and we're gonna add it right on top. As this cooks, I do try to get the onions down in that liquid just so they help cook down and get that delicious flavor because those onions are really good piled on top of your burger. We're going to put the lid on it and let this cook for eight hours. Here is what they look like when they're all done. They're so good. The onions are cooked down. Now with this recipe, one of my favorite tips is to put these burgers on toasted buns. They're so good with toasted buns. We also serve them with provolone cheese and this night I served it with mac and cheese and y'all, these were so good. These four crock pot recipes are definitely favorites in my house. They are so easy to put together and delicious. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope it gave you some new meal inspiration and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.